check that first. If, they, if they're in good shape and the guy's right next to them, then we can go to nine, open that valve, and then go to four, and we'll go to four. We're at the lower level right now. This is the main 10 inch gauge valve for the steam inlet from the street for Con Edison. We're splitting the valve right now. We're going to be putting in a pancake, which is an actual piece of metal that I'll show you after that stop flow between Con Edison and the building steam. We did not turn the building's new boiler plant on until the blank off is in so we don't mix the steam with Con Edison steam. We're here on the ninth floor. This is the riser, the main riser. We have an express riser here that connects onto the ninth floor in order for us to inject more steam and capacity up to the 50th. This valve right here has now been opened to introduce steam into the riser at a higher point. At this point now we're going to go to the fourth floor and we should be able to begin starting to introduce steam from the plant into the risers. We're here on the fourth floor. This is where the uh, main riser shaft starts for all the steam. As you can see above, our main 14 inch steam header from the boiler plant comes in here and we have a bunch of valves and systems that go to the main risers that go to the building. We have steam to this point and we're going to start opening valves to introduce steam into the building from the boiler plant now that Con Ed has been shut off. Alright, we're going to start turning the first valve. Slowly, so we introduce steam slowly. Nice and slow. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Think about the, the magnitude of it. Of how 2,500 guest rooms, 10 floors of the ballrooms, 10, you know, all the staff. They got an army of people here and you get all involved in one day. Right now we're up on the 50th floor PRV. This is where we're testing to see if all the steam from the in injection on the fourth floor riser is making it up. This valve right here is your main valve to go to your PRVs. We shut this valve right now to make sure that we're not passing anything through the PRV. Once we know we have pressure in the riser, we're going to open up this valve right here to bypass the PRV and introduce 12 pounds of steam to the building. Once we have it on the 50th floor, we're going to move to the 9th floor. Alright, this is the bypass for the 50th floor PRV outlet. There's no pressure behind it right now because the inlet is closed. I want to open this first so that when I open up the next valve, it flows straight through to the heat exchangers. We're starting to introduce the steam. Bypass on the 50th floor. Slowly. Good. I'm halfway. Good. So right now we got nine pounds on the outlet side of the PRV going to the building. The reason that's a little lower right now, we want to try to maintain 11 to 12, but it's lower because everything's cooling, so all the steam is just getting used up right now. Mike, we're going to head, our, head down to nine next. We're going to take some time here, but we're maintaining at least 10 pounds on 50, so I think we're going to head to nine. But the good thing is at least that he, everything's cool on right now, right? If you think about it. All the medicine is cool on We need to call here. All right? Once you meet the, if that's what it is. Right now when I start bypassing, it's eating the steam up. I'm sure this is going to take most of the steam. Beautiful. So this, this valve is to feed the kitchen equipment. A new riser for the kitchen. Right now, this is full of steam. We don't want it full of steam because now what we're doing is we're sending the pressure and the flow back this way up. So what we have to do is stop the valve there, open the other valve to the riser, then we're going to go in the second floor, divert those valves to back feed the system. Because this floor was different. It wasn't like every other floor. But I think I equalized the line. That's what it was, equalizing the difference, I think. This 
to lower level pressure reducing valve station. We're going to be opening the bypass on the lower level. This is the outlet. We're going to slowly open this. Then I'm going to go to the inlet and open that. This is Mo. Mo's been our welder on this job from the first day, about a year and a half. We started out here in uh, January of 2014. His partner Steve, I got, and Harold, they've been on the job for the last year and a half, putting everything together to bring this day online. Last thing I want to do is bring the condensate back to the panel. Can you hear me?